Hi everyone. Hi Angelica. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get on on board doing these lives pretty regularly. So, hi everyone. I hope everyone's doing really well. I'm excited. We're getting ready for Giddy. Giddy, Giddy, Giddy. Hi, Ida Luz. Ida Luz, how are you? Hi, Garth. Great to see you. I'm on Diamond. Love ya. I'm really excited. I'm getting excited, heated up, and ready for Giddy. Hi, TJ. So, hi. Aw, oh, can't wait to see you, Angelica. So I made a poll, I took a poll on the group to find out what topics y'all wanted to hear about and I'm going through them one by one. And we did the initiation one. Now we're doing this one on Gede, which was the second most popular one. And soon we'll be doing one talking about protection in spirituality and in our traditional work. And so today I want to share with you about Gede, which is, whoo, that's a big loa here. That's a big loa. He's a very important loa. A lot of people have met him here. He's a very, the black division or the Banda, Nacion Banda, the Banda Nation, the Banda division is really important within the Bodu traditions. So, like, follow, share, share if you dare, share if you care. Go ahead and share this video and like and follow. And we're going to discuss some important facts about Papa Gede today and that. And as always, if you'd like, as many people already have done, you can uh, donate to these lives via Cash App, Cash Symbol, Hector Salva, or via PayPal, help at mysticalwork.com. If you guys have questions while I'm doing these lives, uh, you're more than welcome to go ahead and put it in the comments. And hi, Mambo J. And if you would like to hop on here with me, there's a button down here. If you have a question and you would just like to come on here with me and ask it live, you're more than welcome to do so as well. I want to do one of these as like a Q&A at some point soon. Hi, Goddess Mother. Um, we got your package for Soleil, so he'll be, get, be picking it up soon. He's excited. Um... So, for those of you who don't know, Goddess Mother, she makes ancestral bottles. It's almost that get is, that is true, that is true. And so we're really excited. We do get a ceremony every year. Um, I don't recall about last year because of the COVID, the COVID, the COVID, how we like to say it around here. And, but it's one of the biggest ceremonies that we do all year. Like most Caballo de Misterio, like most Hungan and Mambo, I have my uh, compromiso, my duties to do. And for us here, it's Anaisa and Gede. And this year, we also had a Zaka party, a cousin, Fet cousin. And Gede came by and he saw everything that had been given to Kuzan and he was like, oh, I better get more than what you're giving to all of him. So if, for those of you who don't know, Gede and Kuzan are half brothers and they tend to kind of get a little jealous, jealous of each other. So Gede does have a saint that represents him and that's St. Expedite. And there are many Gede though. So Papa Gede, or the one that most people know, is connected with St. Expedite. Rav Gede is a, connected with St. Gerard. St. Martin is Gede V, that someone mentioned here. 
but in different regions, different Giddies, they use different saints depending on the different Giddies. Because you always have to remember that the Loa is the Loa and the saint is the saint. Okay? The saint is the saint and the Loa is the Loa. They are not the same. And so therefore, sometimes with certain Loa, if you go to different regions, they use different saints to represent those same Loa. Now in the 21 divisions, the most common is Papa Gere Limbolakwa, which is represented by Saint Expedite. But you have Saint Martin that someone mentioned here, Saint Martin of Porres, who represents another Gede. We have many different saints that are connected with Gede. For those of you who are just joining us, we're talking about Gede today. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Or if you'd like to pop on and ask your question live, feel free to pop on here and ask the question live. <clears throat> so, hmm. so actually today I just completed a beautiful Danto service because she asked me for her service. She was like, yo, where's my service at now? So she asked me for a beautiful service. I gave her a beautiful service earlier today. Hi, Takasha. We're excited to see you soon. And so we took care of Danto, took care of what she needed from us. So talking about Gede, there's much to say about Gede. But right there's an echo hi not sure exactly why it might be because the room does not have a lot of things in it where i'm sitting so with giddy hi cinnamon with giddy there is a, a number of things first off is a lot of things that people don't know about Gede, actually. Gede is really, really popular, and he's one of the spirits that when everyone else has turned their back on you, or even all the other spirits, including your own spirits, are upset with you, often Gede is willing to intervene for people. That's why it's important to have good relationships with the various spirits. The same way it's important to have many connections and good relationships in life, it's also important to have good relationships with your spirits, but also good relationships with a lot of the major spirits, because you never know when something's going to happen where you may need that spirit or that spirit's assistance. And Gid is a really powerful spirit in the sense that he can often intervene for you when things are going wrong, when you've made a mistake, when you have basically slipped up when it comes to the rest of the loi. Okay? Get it, a lot of people are unaware, and I see it often. And so if this is something that you've done, maybe this is something you can correct now that you know better. When you know better, you do better, right? Gede doesn't like water, okay? Gede does not like water. You do not do things with water when it comes to Gede. In fact, many of the old school people, if it was raining, they didn't do the ceremony. If it was raining, during time when it's time to do a Gede ceremony, that ceremony will be held off. And I've been there. Hi, Sandra. Yes, I will. Uh, oh, Mambo J. Yes, I will. Um, when it's raining, I've been there in ceremonies in Haiti. And it suddenly starts raining. And so we just sit there. Luckily, if you've ever been to the islands or even it happens commonly in Florida and tropical locations, 
a lot of times it doesn't rain forever. It just has like short little periods of rain in which, you know, it rains for a short period, an hour or two, and then you're able to move on. I've been there at a ceremony. I recall one ceremony I was at, forget it. And it started to rain before the ceremony was about to start. And basically the ceremony was kind of set to start around 8 p.m., 8, 9 p.m. We didn't actually get to start till about one in the morning because the rain lasted for like three hours. And after that, you know, everything had to get set up and cleaned up in order to be able to do his ceremony. So Gede is a spirit. Gede doesn't care for water. Water doesn't go with the Gede's. And when we make offerings to Gede, we don't, or we offer animals, we offer certain things, we don't wash them down with water. So that's something that if you don't know and you have get it, now you know. Sometimes some people, or when get it is around, it's just like, ugh, you just get this like disgust towards water. Like you don't want nothing water around you. I know certain people, you know, who have a really strong get it and they get super upset when their clothes gets wet. You know, sometimes you spill a glass of water on you, sometimes you spill a few drops of water or something. And a lot of times when people have Gede or Gede's presence is really strong, they're just like, no, 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 they're not trying to have that. So Gede is not a spirit of water, okay? It is not a spirit that cares for water. However, with that being said, all spirits accept water. So a glass of water can be put on his altar. Don't expect for him to drink it. Likewise, on the opposite end of things, it is a spirit that doesn't really care for fire, right? Get, he actually runs from fire. He gets scared of fire. Right? So, oftentimes I've seen ceremonies or rituals where they're doing things for Gede with fire. That's not Gede's element. He's not down with the fire. Okay? And I love Gede to death. Okay? I love Gede to death. Gede cannot stand the police. Okay? Gede cannot stand the police, and I totally get him. He just doesn't really trust them, and there are many reasons why. I'm sure most of you can, can totally understand why, right? Gede is, he's such a fun character. He's such a fun loi, and he's very laid back overall. He's a very laid back loi overall. And he's very understanding. A lot of people, you know, totally don't understand Gede. But Gede is very laid back spirit. I love how, I love his essence. And no one can tell a joke or crack a joke the way that a Gede can. Oftentimes a Gede comes through the ceremony and the whole temple breaks up laughing, right? That's one of the beauties of Get It. Get It get, brings that relief to people, right? I'm really lucky, right? I serve Get It. I serve Anaisa. I serve plenty of party spirits. My spirits like to have fun. They're comedic. They like to enjoy. You know, I love them all, right? Like someone said here, I love all the spirits, but... And I used to get it, and they really have it where they're able to, they're very, just, I just love them to death. And here, when we have get it ceremony, very often, many people who have come here, um, we have a number of get it that often manifest, so that come to the party. We have get it, brav get it, get it limbo. Often comes to a ceremony, Gede Fatra. Gede Fatra comes to ceremonies. 
And for a long time, Gede Fuye came to ceremonies through the Caballo de Misterio, known as, currently known as the late Mambo Sunny. Mambo Sunny was one of my goddaughters, love her to death, and she passed away just two years ago, actually, almost to the day, uh, meaning back in October 10th, around there. So she used to be the horse here for Gede Fuye. Gere Fuye Lakwa. And we have Gere Fatra that shows here. Baron. Bar Baron Cementerio. Baron de Cementerio. Also known in Haiti as Bawon Simitie. Bawon Lakwa. Shows up here. And Bawon Samdi. Now, someone mentioned here or asked the question Can I discuss the difference between Baron Bawon Samdi? And Gede. The things the thing is that Bawon Samdi is a baron. And the barons and the Gede are very different, although quite similar. Papa Gede often, often, often gets confused with Baron Samdi. And Baron Samdi often often gets confused with Papa Gede. One of the things is oftentimes when the Loa mount they're not sitting here like, hey everyone, I'm Baron Samdi. It's me, Baron Samdi. It's up to the people that are there who have the connaissance, who have the wisdom to be able to identify the Lua. And a lot of times, uh, Gede, okay, Gede often gets confused for Bawon. I want Samdi. And this is because many of their, I forget how to say the word all properly, but accoutrement, many of their tools are the same. Gede wears a top hat, but Gede is a little bit more open to various styles, right? And Gede wears a top hat, he wears the suit coat, he carries the baton, the walking cane. He wears the sunglasses. All these things he shares in common with Baron Samdi, with Bawon Samdi. All these things he shares in common. And so this is why it gets very easy to confuse the two. However, Bawon Samdi is usually much more serious. That's one of the differences between the Gides and the Bawon. Bawon is usually much more serious than the Gideons. Bawon does, hey Trish, hey darling. Bawon, Gide comes, he's comedic, he laughs, he jokes. He doesn't actually laugh though. That's the thing about Gide. But he jokes, he cracks jokes, he tells people's business. You know, he's very much in your face, he loves to dance, etc., etc. I want Samdi, on the other hand, he's not as comedic. He's not as jokey. He's very, he's much more serious. And oftentimes his possessions last for shorter amounts of time. Gedeis can often ride people for long periods of time. When I was at Fed Gede in Haiti on one year, there were various Gedeis that were there for long, for hours. Gideons can ride the horses for long. Bawons cannot. Okay? Bawon cannot sit on a horse for too long. Otherwise, there's going to be problems for the horse. Right? There's going to be problems for the horse. So, Bawon can't sit on a horse. Hey, Star. Hey, darling. How you doing there? Bawon can't sit on that horse. Bawon come. what someone said, Bawon comes in, he does what he has to do, and Bawon got to go. Okay? Gede, on the other hand, Gede is going to go there, and he's going to have a good time. Gede wants to come. He wants to be given a little chance. Let me smoke my cigarettes. Let me do my thing. One of the other things is Gede doesn't laugh. 
See, there's little subtle things when it comes to the voter that you have to pay attention to. He cracks a lot of jokes, but Gated doesn't laugh. Nor does... Uh, Bawam can have a little bit of a, a weird chuckling-like sound, but really, the Bawams and the Gated, they don't laugh. They didn't make jokes, but they don't laugh at their own jokes. They're not, they don't, they don't laugh. So, I've seen various, unfortunately, Baron and Giddy are some of the spirits that get the most nonsense. Because oftentimes, and I know you guys have seen this, I know y'all have seen this, where people confuse Baron and Legba. People confuse Baron Samdi and Legba. Okay? Not that long ago, in fact, I had someone who told me that they had a ritual, they had a ceremony, and Papa Legba came. When they described the actions of the person who was mounted, okay? Well, there's two things, really. Number one is that that couldn't have been Legba. Legba does not, uh, he don't talk nasty. Legba don't talk sexual. Legba is a spirit of a great respect. Legba is not a spirit that sits on people for very long and he's not a spirit that many people can mount he's not a spirit that sits on people for long and legba is not a spirit that a lot of people can mount legba is very picky and legba prefers to mount his own horses meaning he prefers his people his particular people Get it don't care. Get it is gonna he gonna use all any and all horses. Okay? So that's one thing. Number two is they were talking about the behavior of this quote unquote legba, which was actually not legba and not even get it either. Okay? There are certain things that these spirits do not do. These spirits are highly elevated mysteries of God. 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 They're heavily, they're high mysteries of God. Okay? So, there are certain things that they do not do. Okay? It just doesn't happen, baby. Okay? A lot of times, People get mounted or possessed by low-level spirits who trickster spirits who like to pretend to be a Lua or to be a Gide or to be a Legba. It's not uncommon. Okay? These spirits, okay, unless a person is already involved in these traditions, and they are a horse. They are not just randomly, generally, going to sit there and possess people in random ceremony, such as like a coven meeting. No, that's not how it works, baby. They're not going to possess people in various ceremonies that I've heard, rituals that I've heard, that people claim like, oh, Gede came to the ceremony. He's not coming to a, a ritual of ceremonial magic. It's not happening. These spirits have reglema. They have a lot of rules in order to come. There's a lot of work that goes behind it. And they don't just randomly mount people, okay?
Aww. He did a so cinnamon. He did a spiritual surgery at one time. Oh, you never got to talk to us about it. Yeah, there are trickster spirits. There are a lot of trickster spirits. And this is a very often happens, especially when people jump in to things they don't know and start messing with things. There are a great number of spirits which are really, really hungry. Okay? The majority of trickster spirits and low-level spirits, okay, are just looking to get a little bit of attention, energy, and food. And, I mean, who can blame them? Everyone needs to eat, okay? And when and where they can, they will take advantage. This is why during a proper Vodou or 21 Division ritual, during a mani, a fiesta, a fete, whatever you may call it, there's rituals that are done beforehand by the people in charge to make sure that the trickster spirits do not come. There are services, okay? There are services that are put out so that trickster spirits, so that the door is closed to trickster spirits, so that they stay out of the ceremony, okay? Trickster spirits also love to cause confusion. Trickster spirits misidentify themselves. They like to pretend to be other spirits that they are not. A lot of people have a tendency, especially in America, to get upset when proper practitioners say to them, hey, like, what you're doing is not how it's done. And more than likely, what you have interacting with you is a trickster spirit. And let me tell you something about these trickster spirits. It's just because they're trickster spirits, just because they're negative spirits, does not mean that they don't know anything. Okay, we have a saying in Spanish, right? El diablo sabe, sabe más por viejo que por diablo. So basically, the devil knows more, not because he's the devil, but because he's old. Many of these trickster spirits have been around for a very long time. And I know everyone thinks they're just like the brightest bulb in the box. But these spirits are a lot smarter than most people. They've survived for a long time. Way before you were born, and way after you die, many of them will still be there. And many of these trickster spirits will mix truth and falsehood. They'll tell you some true, real stuff. They're spirits. They know things. They're able to see things. They're able to get information. They're going to tell you some true stuff, mix it up with some lies and some false stuff, and that's how the tricks begin. And when it comes to life, tricks are not just for kids or Johns. They also come in the spiritual realm. A great deal of people often don't understand, right, why they're getting a certain response from the spirits, okay? But what the spirits say is not what it comes out to be. And the reason for that is, do you know what you're calling? Do you know that what is coming through and says it's coming through is what it says it is? That takes spiritual development and eyes to see. It takes work. 
fix development. And most often times, as you'll find out in my next upcoming book, many times the spirits that most often flood new people into spirituality are trickster spirits and negative entities. They're the ones who will show up first. They're the ones who will be right there. And the mysteries, the La, the Orisha, the positive spirits can come through too. But oftentimes when one starts to really decide to take that path and start developing, a bunch of negative spirits, a bunch of trickster spirits are going to show up. And they're going to show up really quickly and buy the car loads. Right? The reason for this is, especially when you're new, especially when you're fresh, you're easier to trick. When you're not ready and you're not clear yet, okay, when you're not ready and you're not clear yet, then it's easy for these spirits to take advantage of that, right? I have never had a party and had a trickster spirit mount anyone. However, I have been to ceremonies and have seen trickster spirits mount people. And I have had been to ceremonies where the purpose is for those negative spirits to show up. The purpose is for the trickster spirits to show up so that they can be handled. There are ceremonies where we call those spirits up so that we can deal with them directly and so that we can correct whatever messes it is that they are causing. That does happen. But I have been to other rituals and ceremonies where there have been trickster spirits. Okay? And... I basically, you know, I'm polite. If you know me and you know me long enough, then you know that Papa, Papa's just going to sit there and be like, mm, interesting, an interesting turn of events. That's interesting, okay? That's my way. I'm not going, I don't say no shit. I'm just like, hmm, wow, that's different. And all my God kids know, and that's why they're throwing up the hearts and stuff, okay, is when there's some shit up, where there's some BS going on, Papa's favorite word is that's different or that's interesting. Okay, you know that, Trish. I see you, right? I'm like, hmm, that's very interesting. Hmm, that's different, isn't it, right? I, it's not my practice in my life, okay, to give two fucks what you're doing. I got morals. So as long as you do whatever the hell you want in your space. If I'm there and I don't like it, I just leave. And if I'm there and, you know, I don't want to leave, I'm just going to be like, hmm, wow. It's interesting how, how things work here. Things are really different here. Okay. And, you know, that's how we do things. Let me tell you something about real hungans and mambos is that we grown. Which means we've grown, grown. We're old heads. We may look young, and we could be young. There's hungans and mambos that are 20 years old. And then 20 year old hungans and mambos that I know that are well developed, they're more like, they're older than some people that I know that are almost 80 years old. There's a certain level of maturity that comes along with the truth, right? And so we don't sit there and we don't talk mess. We're just like, hmm, hmm, <laughs> ha, ha. 
Wow. Right? And exactly. Anomalous. I love this comment. I love that comment. Right? That is so well written. You always write things really beautifully though. I always like, I love how you write things, right? He says that he often explains to newcomers that, you know, you're calling on a telephone, but you don't, you're randomly calling, not knowing the real phone number, you're cold calling, and you might think that you're talking to the CEO, but in reality, you're just talking to the, to the night janitor, right? And that happens really often. And a great deal of spiritual workers who I know are here with me can attest to that. Can attest to having gone or seen or worked with people who are surrounded by trickster spirits. And let me tell you, these trickster spirits, they're very, very, very convincing. Remember, they know a lot of shit because they're old. And so oftentimes, when someone is surrounded with them trickster spirits, they don't want to hear the truth. The truth makes them angry. So the person who's dealing with them will get upset with you. When you're like, hey, maybe you should check in on what you're doing there. Okay? Right? Maybe you should check in on what you're doing there. And the trickster spirits will have them get really angry at you. They'll have them get really upset at you. And cause problems. Because now you're trying to mess with the host of the parasite. And that parasite, it, he ain't going to play no games with you. So trickster spirits cause a lot of confusion and they stop people from being able to see clearly, right? They cause people to see almost as if they were watching things in a strobe light, right? And so they can't see clearly, and so they get confused. And so when truth comes out, they get highly offended. They get really angry, right? And they don't like it. And when you tell that individual, hey, like, Take a step back. They're going to get upset with you. Because trickster spirits love to play on big egos. Okay? And people with the biggest egos are the ones that they love them. They love to surround those people. And people with big egos usually have fragile egos. So to tell them that they don't know what they're doing is an offense. Because big ego means weak. Right? They can't handle any confrontation or anything coming up against them. Okay? It means they can't handle hearing the truth. And those negative entities will, they can pass through people. Hey, Marsha. They can pass through people really easily, right? And they are, like, they have the power to do, people used to call them pass-throughs, okay? And... See this comment here. No. So people they can go through pass-throughs and they're really able to like whisper in people's ear and get you thinking that you're thinking that. I just watched it was my daughter's birthday yesterday. One of my little babies. All my babies are getting old. Which means I'm getting old. And sometimes I'm like, 
damn you little kids. I want to beat you guys so that you guys can be young again. I don't want my babies to be old yet. Plus, you're making me old. So, I'm like, mm. sometimes I just want to, I just want, I just want you to get younger. Right? You know, that's how it be when you're a parent. You're like, I'm not ready for my babies to get old. Like, you ain't never ready for them to get old, right? So we went, and for her birthday, because it happened to land on, you know, um, Christopher the Thief Columbus Day. And because it happened to fall on the, on the day where we all, where people commemorate the thief, it was not, not a lot open. So we went, and we went to go see a movie. And maybe you guys already saw it. It's called Xiang Chi and the Ten Rings. If you plan on seeing this movie, you better cut me off right now on this live. I'll give you a second to cut me off because I'm about to do, a, I'm about to spoil it. I'm about to give you a little bit of spoiler. A little bit. But basically the main premise of the movie is that the negative person, I forget what you call it. You guys got the fancy words, right? The negative person, the bad guy, is being misled by trickster spirits. Okay? Is being misled by trickster spirits. And I, Chaz, just recently, if you look at a lot of these... Um, a lot of these movies that are coming out as of recently, they're starting to get a few little things right here and there, which means maybe they're waking up to the things that we've been knowing. Okay? Remember, spirituality is always in front of science. What that means is what we've been said, what we've been known, Science is just catching up. Since the ancient times, okay, all spiritual traditions have said all the world is energy. Okay? Just within the last, I'm going to say, 30, 40 years, the scientists realized all the world is energy. Ha! Surprise! We've been saying this for thousands and millions of years. Hundreds of thousands of years. Aren't you so damn bright? Okay? A lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. This happened the same thing with Puerto Rican brujeria. Which, I'm going to just touch on it a little bit. I cover in my book that's coming out in February. Right? That... After trying to eradicate the brujos, some scientists started to realize that these brujos and the treatments they were giving were effective for reasons unknown to the brujos. However, when they started to scientifically investigate things, they started to realize that it made sense. That maybe certain herbs we use have chemical compounds that do certain things. Science is always late. And that's part of the trick. That's part of the big trick on y'all. By the trickster spirit. Is I only trust science. Science. Okay. Can only. Uh examine what they can see. Science can only examine what it can see. What it cannot see, it cannot examine. Right? A perfect example is, you know, for the longest time, hand washing. Someone just recently told me about this. Right? A scientist realized, like, a reason a lot of patients were dying 
when giving childbirth was because people weren't washing the hands. That wasn't a practice. The doctors didn't wash their hands. And when he implemented it, he stopped losing so many patients during childbirth. The whole scientific community went against him, called him a quack, a dummy, a fraud. Then about 30 years later, they realized, hey, this guy is right. We do need to wash our hands. And here's the science that says he's right. God don't need science to talk to you, baby. You got that inside of you. And if you get in tune with your craft, you're going to be able to communicate and the communications will come to you. Right? So, I know I went left there from Gede, but based on the questions and what we've been discussing here. The feast day of Gede is November 2nd, for those of you who aren't aware. It's also two of my, one of my godson and my daughter, my baby daughter's birthday. And for those of you who've worked with me and have interacted with Soleil, right? You know Soleil, my godson, who, you know, makes sure I get my schedule on point, schedules our appointments and everything. That's Soleil's birthday, y'all. It's November 2nd. Just so you know, and if you want to wish him a happy birthday, I'm sure he'll be more than happy to hear from you guys. Okay? But the whole month of November, we celebrate the Giddies. Okay? November 13th, however, is this year's party for Fet Giddy. We're doing it at 3 p.m. Oh, thank you. Right? Um, we're doing it at 3 p.m. If you're an initiate, you know, you're invited to come early so that you can learn some things. Learn some things prior to us getting started. Oh, I love that. Brujos experience and examine while science only examines. I love that comment. Absolutely, Takasha. Right? Of course you can come. You're more than welcome. Um, so, you're more than welcome to come on down. Come on, well, come on up, because I believe you might be in New Orleans. Come on up, we'll be more than happy. So, in honor of Gede, I'm about to continue doing this while I smoke my cigarette. Alright? So, Gede loves him some cigarettes and some coffee. You know, because he has morals, right? He understands that life is meant to have some fun to it, right? And whenever you, listen, y'all, one thing that Gated teaches us is don't worry about what people are going to say, okay? Ay, bo, bo, gracias, quasim, bo, is the call word. Everybody knows Aibobo. You don't know Kwasimbo, that's forget it. Kwasimbo, Anomalous, and Trish, smoke along with me. All right? Smoke along with me. I know some of y'all metrezili folk, y'all can't be smoking like that, so I ain't mad at you. Right? So, I know. Talking about that, Gere and metrezili are connected. There is a connection that exists between Gere and metrezili. And a lot of people who have metrezili have gede. I remember a story that my godmother told me, right? My godmother told me a story once where she's doing her ceremony, you know, doing what she do best, right? But apparently upstairs, right, upstairs, a lot of times people tend to kind of like, you know, go here, go there, various points of the ceremony. And upstairs, they were talking mess, 
And they were like, I don't understand how does she have Gede and how Gede is so strong with her if she's such a metrezili. She has metrezili all over her and she has such a strong connection there, right? Well, baby, there's a lot of things that you don't understand, all right? And it's Gede and metrezili have a connection. Gede has a lot of connections. He's a connected motherfucker, okay? And so, a lot of people that have metrezili, it's not uncommon that they have a strong gede or a gede that's connected to them strongly. All right? And so what happened was, basically the gede took offense to it. And gede heard it, even though the ceremony was going on full blast down in the space, far away from the, where the conversation was being held. Right? And then Gede was like, well, when he came, he was like, I heard you were talking bad about me. Right? But really, she wasn't talking about that. Bad about him, but he felt some type of way. What people don't realize is these spirits be listening to you all over the damn place. They're all over. Just because you don't see them or hear them in the moment, does not mean they're not there. It means you are not aware of their presence. And so, and so Gator gave her a big old shot, forced her to drink a big old shot of his Piman. For those of you who don't know Piman is, it's clear white rum, like a moonshine, soaked with 21 scotch bonnet peppers, and that shit is hot as hell. One time it was sprayed in the air, one of the Gators sprayed it in the air, Immediately, the whole room started coughing. One person's throat started almost closing up because they had an allergy to it. And that stuff is just really strong. Your eyes start watering. You just start, it's very, it's, oof, it's really harsh stuff. So, he gave her a good old swig of that and was like, that's how I do it, right? Because he's a comedian. Hey, he had to have a good laugh. So get it, love his cigarettes. Get it, love his coffee. And get it, love his tools. Okay? Get it is a salesman extraordinaire. This guy can cut your hair and sell it back to you. He can sell the hair on your head to you while it's still attached. That's one of the things about Gede. If you don't serve Gede because maybe he's not with you, it's still good to put something for him. His coffee, his light, his white candle, a cigarette, out for him, at least on his feast on November 2nd or sometime during the month of November. You might not serve him all year long, but it's good to have something there for him at least during that time, to be like, hey, I'm looking out for you, so that if I need you, you'll look out for me. Get it on a number of times, and I think I might have written this in my book on the 21 Divisions, a number of times, get it has saved my butt. Oh, thank you, Cinnamon. You have the best bets, Papa, and I've been to, to Haiti a lot. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, so, many times Gede has saved my butt. One time Gede saved my butt, what saved me, was basically something caught fire and everyone was asleep. And Gede came and pushed me off the bed. I saw him in my dream. And he came just like how St. Expedite appears. He was just right there next to me. Just like a still picture. Just like the picture is. Not the statue, the picture. All the background was amongst him or whatever. And he, he pointed at the fire with his eyes. He looked over at the fire. 
okay? And I saw the fire. And then I felt he, I felt him push me. And when I woke up, he had pushed me off the bed and there was a fire exactly where he showed me. It got taken care of, thanks to Giddy. Another time, Giddy told me, get the hell up, they're coming. Get the hell up and leave right now, okay? And guess what happened? I lived in the hood, the real hood. Not what a lot of people think is the hood that's not the hood. I'm talking about the real hood. So I lived in the hood and he said, get up, you got to go right now. I got up, I left. As I'm walking down the street, I hear the gunshots. They went and they shot up that whole building. A person in, in the building got shot. Okay? But other people ended up getting shot, non-fatal wounds, but got shot. Sweetie, I'm not trying to get shot. That's not me. It doesn't look good on me. I know other people, it looks cute on them. But I'm not, I'm not built for that. Okay? So, that was another time. And this is also why things you gotta, you gotta listen to your spirits. Sometimes what they say, it doesn't make sense to you in the moment. But that's because you are know-it-all. You can't know it all. You have to be willing to not be a know-it-all. You have to be like, yeah, you know, there's some shit I just don't know. Another time I was living in the hood. I don't live in the hood anymore. But I was living in the hood. And Gede says, everyone tonight needs to sleep on the floor in this house. Everyone in this house needs to sleep on the floor. And, of course, when I enforced the rule, everyone looked at me like I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, right? Like, what are you talking about? That everybody got to sleep on the floor. People don't like sleeping on the floor, right? But it's actually good for you. In India, in fact, they say it's the best thing for your back. So, people are like, no, we're not trying to sleep on the floor. But I'm like, that's what Gary said. That means everybody going to sleep on the floor today. Okay? We all slept on the floor. In the middle of the night, some, some random person started driving by and just shooting. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Had we slept in the mattresses, we would have been dead because gunshots actually came through the walls. There was bullets on the opposite side of the bed, on the opposite side of the wall, because they came through the walls just at the level where it was just above the, the top of the mattress. Someone would have been laying there, someone would have been dead, okay? So, these are the things. Get it knows about all these things. Because get it, get it know about the hood. He knows very well about the hood. Right? So, get it can protect you against these things. This is why, which I'm going to make my next live about protection. Right? This is why oftentimes people have a number of various protections. Because some things some Lua can protect you against, and then there's other things that that Lua might not have the capacity to do so. But they might have a, another Lua may have the capacity to do so. So if you're working spiritually, or you're on a spiritual path, it's important for you to have all the protections that you need. So... I'm going to leave this video at that if you guys don't have any further questions before I let you guys go. You know, I don't try to hold you up all night. And many blessings to all of you guys. As always, keep the faith. And as I said earlier, November 13th is our gate. It's on a Saturday. It's at 3 p.m. There's information online about it. You're more than welcome to come reach out. We love to have, meet new people, right? And um, like, follow, comment, share, right? 
That's what we always got to say. Share, 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 share. And many blessings to all of you guys. Thank you, Alex. You're most welcome, Sandra. And if you like the lives, go ahead and want to donate. Feel free to do so via Cash App or uh, what's that, PayPal. Cash symbol Hector Salva. PayPal help at mysticalwork.com. Right? Oh, thank you, darling. And our next live is going to be about spiritual protections. I'm going to give you some simple spiritual protections that if you're not protected, you could do as well. Or maybe you don't know them yet, right? And I do plan, if I get enough comments, to say, hey, yeah, that's what we want, to make a special uh, live for those of you who are spiritual workers and servants to give you guys some things that you can be doing to help yourself as well as to help your clients, as well as to help the altar, and really start to take your spiritual work to the next level. So that's what's in the works as far as what we're doing. Many blessings to all of you guys. We love you all much. And keep the faith, stay blessed, and non-stressed. Don't let no one stress you out. The motto of the week that I've been telling everyone, it seems to be, you know, various weeks have various th themes. Hey, Sandy. Various weeks have, love you, darling, various themes. This week's theme is kind of like, stop throwing energy into bottomless pits. Don't let people stress you out. Realize, are they worth your energy? And if they're not worth it, your energy, then don't, don't waste it. Life is short. That's one thing that Gated tells us. Oh, Lucy Progreso, Aida. And yes, no stress, Trish, darling. So don't let nobody get in your head. Your life is worth way more than that. All right? Remember who you are. And don't let nobody work. You. All right. So many blessings to all of you guys. Keep the faith. Right. Keep strong. Okay. That. You know you can do a lot more than you think you can do. Don't let nobody beat you down. Don't go beating people down. But don't let nobody beat you down either. All right. And don't let yourself get overly stressed. It's not worth it. If you feel stressed, go take a shower. Go to sleep. Wake up. Everything resolved after a good sleep. That's what I say. A good little nap. You'll be back on top. Alright? So keep the faith and many blessings.